get closer to this direct, which is going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific time, we are going to be looking at a lot more stuff coming hot off the press with leaks and whatnot, and today is no exception. Man, okay, so we let me let me explain what's going on. So right now I got hit with a ton of people telling me, yo, Etika, check out this Game Asia article. Or, or the Gamnesia article. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm I'm butchering the name. But anyways, telling people were telling me to check this article out, and I waited, I waited, I waited, decided now is the time. I was tired as hell yesterday, I was up all day. Anyway, so we are going to be talking about this article right here, which obviously, as you can see, showcases Popo from the Ice Climbers apparently being included in Smash as well for the DLC that's expected to be announced later on today. It's gonna say tomorrow. Later on today. How much how much how much time do we have left, man? Like right now, things are getting a little bit exciting. Um how much time do we have left? Uh I used to have the um tom the timer here, but I mean anyways, um let me see, it's 8 12 a.m. So we have roughly around eight hours left until what well, excuse me, not eight hours. Um we have roughly uh, a, around 10 hours. Around, around 10 hours, around that time period is when we should be ready. Because if it's 6 p.m. Eastern time, I, know, I just I'm, I was just thinking about it because I don't want to mess up the time for the time zones. Because I know some people are going to be like, oh, then it's in. Oh, but, but anyways, so let's start off. So anyways, um, let's start by saying this. Take this room over the game. It's all, of course, like everything that we've been seeing for the last 24 hours. Uh, according to a gallery of images on Imager, Nintendo will be opening a Smash door following tomorrow's Direct. Really now? So let's take a look at exactly what the hell they're talking about. Oh, no, I was just mentioning the Direct. So, um, these images are screenshots of a supposed web page for the store. Although there's no explanation given for how they were obtained. It's that four DLC packs are coming, YouTube, Popo, Wolf, and a mystery character, as well as stages, custom parts, and more. Here's a rundown of the information in the images, which you can check out in the gallery below. We'll check out the gallery itself. Um, let's take a look. So, here we go. We're gonna make this full screen. Smash door opens. Really now. It looks convincing. I like the idea. Of course, I don't believe it in the fucking slightest, but it looks really clean so far. But anyone could just make this in their fucking Photoshop. It wouldn't be an issue. Um, let's see what's going on here. Um, so, uh, under Mewtwo, it says, Challenger approaching Mewtwo. Those who register Mewtwo via Club Nintendo will have automatically downloaded on 4 8 15. That's April 8th. Okay, um, Ice Climbers, Popo from the Ice Climber, once again a fighter. This time he fights alone, but his sister Nana can also be selected as an alternative. I mean, hey, I, I, it, I wouldn't mind. The interesting part about this is that I don't know if you've seen these Mewtwo or Popo um, renders before, so this could be interesting. Then you have Wolf here. These all seem like they're somewhat original renders, but as we've learned from my dude RC Omni, he can't trust models. No matter how convincing they may look, there's definitely people out there who can do work similar to him as well too. So I mean, I mean, no offense to him, of course, he's the master of fake leaks. But you know, I mean, renders now. Oh my God, I cannot believe we've reached the time in Smash Brothers leaks where official model renders don't mean shit anymore in terms of determining legitimacy for a supposed fake leak. Isn't that hilarious? At one point, it was the original models and renders that made us believe in these characters 100% as in the summer of 2014 leaks when Duck Hunt was leaked to the world, Bowser Jr. was leaked to the world. Everyone saw those fully original, 100% um, brand new custom, uh, well not custom, but I mean, those brand new renders, they saw them for Dr. Mario, Bowser Jr., um, Shulk and all that, and no one believed it because they were like, you know, oh no, excuse me, everyone believed it. A lot of people did believe it. Some people didn't believe it, but a lot of people did believe it. And that whole thing about it being a custom render made people say, okay, this definitely is original. That means that it has to be real. But now, I'm looking at these and I'm like, nah, nah, nigga, nah, nigga. Um, by the way, this will be in the description. Let's keep moving. Mewtwo Strikes Back, Mewtwo, new stage, Miiverse. Okay, so, so far it seems like they really went in to try to make this seem realistic. Mewtwo, but you know, my thing is, if they could have shown us this, why didn't they just take screenshots from their computer? Um, okay, available, available May 25th, 2015. Oh, okay, so what this thing is saying is that Mewtwo will be available for people who registered both versions on the 8th of April, but everyone else can get him on um, May 25th, which is kind of sucky. It's extremely sucky, actually. I mean, if that's actually true, then I would feel bad for people who weren't able to register. If you don't know, the Nintendo Club service is now gone, so you will not be able to register your copies to get Mewtwo anymore. Um, let's see about Wolf. Nothing. Okay, so... 
DLC Pack 1, Mewtwo Strikes Back, DLC Pack 2, Wolf Popo Breaks the Ice, and DLC Pack 3, Wolf Tears It Up. Wow, really? Um, 50 new custom parts will be available upon download. 50 new custom parts? You mean moves? Or you just mean like stuff like hats and whatnot for your like me fighter? I don't know. It's intriguing, but definitely not realistic. But hey, who knows? I mean, at the end of the day here, we don't know what Daddy Sakurai is planning, but it seems like most people have the same notion going on. The fact that Daddy Sakurai took way too long to make Mewtwo, and therefore there has to be something else that's coming out. I feel like that's a toxic way of thinking, but at the same time, it does deserve some merit because Sakurai spends a long time working on this guy. And I mean, for a character who should already have his moves determined, because Sakurai, for the most part, kept everyone's moves from their older games, and somebody who, you know, shouldn't be too hard to model since they've worked on him before. There's not that much, you know, random new thinking that they have to do from Mewtwo. I'm not saying that they didn't have to work hard to implement him in Smash 3DS and Wii U. But it couldn't have been more difficult into implementing Mewtwo than like someone like Duck Hunt, for example, who was a brand new character. Mewtwo already has a lot of stuff done for him. I mean, not his models. He wouldn't reuse his models. But his moveset and whatnot, you know, you know exactly what you're going to do. Therefore, I don't know. I don't know. I really want to believe that there's someone else coming out. In fact, being honest with you guys, I'm going to share this with you only once because I don't want to like start up a hype train for this, but I really want to see Splatoon in Smash Brothers, like a lot of people. Roger's base, shout out to you. He actually put the idea out there in his video, and when I thought about it, I'm like, holy shit, that would be amazing to see a Splatoon character in Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. I would love to see that, but I mean, hey. I'm not gonna get myself too excited right now. I'm already having like head spasms from thinking about the direct later on. So you know what, we'll just wait. Um, we got 10 hours guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.